Imagine this. The SpaceX Dragon spacecraft returning from its mission to the International Space Station is about to make a splashdown, literally. But where it lands is about to shift significantly. Today we're diving into why SpaceX is moving its Dragon splashdowns back to the Pacific Ocean and what it means for the future of spacecraft recovery. For years, SpaceX has been at the forefront of space innovation, with the Dragon spacecraft playing a crucial role in ferrying astronauts and cargo to and from orbit. Originally, Dragon missions ended with splashdowns in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California. This location allowed the spacecraft's trunk, an unpressurized section behind the capsule, to fall safely into unpopulated waters. But in 2019, as SpaceX introduced its upgraded Dragon 2, the splashdown sites shifted to the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico to be closer to SpaceX's facilities in Florida. This move aimed to speed up the recovery and refurbishment of the spacecraft, optimizing turnaround times for missions and the rapid return of astronauts and cargo. However, despite these improvements, SpaceX encountered a new challenge. Debris from the Dragon's trunk, which detached before re-entry, was found in various places, North Carolina, Canada, Colorado, and even Australia. These discoveries raised concerns about potential safety hazards. The trunks, made of composite materials and without propulsion systems, would slowly re-enter Earth's atmosphere, but they were not entirely burning up as expected. SpaceX and NASA realized that the models predicting the trunk's complete incineration were not fully accurate. This led to a significant decision. SpaceX will shift its Dragon recovery operations back to the West Coast. The primary reason? To eliminate the risk of debris falling on populated areas. When Dragon's trunk re-enters, it will now do so in a controlled manner falling into the Pacific Ocean away from any landmass. So what does this shift involve? Starting next year, SpaceX will implement a new recovery strategy. <sighs> the Dragon capsule will first execute its deorbit burn, slowing down and preparing for re-entry. The trunk will then be jettisoned and will re-enter the atmosphere on a known trajectory. By keeping the trunk attached during the deorbit burn, SpaceX aims to ensure that any debris from the trunk falls safely into the ocean, away from human activity. But this transition won't be instantaneous. The next few missions, including Crew-8, will continue to splash down off the coast of Florida. SpaceX is working with NASA and the FAA to finalize recovery zones in the Pacific Ocean. The goal is to have Dragon capsules splashing down in the Pacific by mid-next year. Another important aspect of this move is the repositioning of SpaceX's recovery assets. A recovery vessel will be relocated to the Pacific, with facilities at the port of Long Beach supporting initial post-flight operations. This setup will ensure that astronauts and cargo can be swiftly transported back to shore, although the rapid return capabilities previously seen in Florida will need to be replicated on the West Coast. There is also a silver lining to this change better weather conditions. The West Coast's more favorable weather will help avoid the complications posed by hurricanes and stormy conditions that occasionally affect Florida's splashdown sites. This improvement in weather conditions promises more reliable and predictable return operations. Looking ahead, this move represents a crucial shift in SpaceX's approach to spacecraft recovery. By addressing safety concerns and optimizing operational efficiency, SpaceX is setting a new standard for how space missions are concluded. This transition to the Pacific Ocean not only mitigates risks associated with debris, but also aligns with the company's commitment to ensuring the safest possible return for both its hardware and crew. The decision to return to the West Coast underscores SpaceX's proactive stance on safety and innovation. As the company continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, it's clear that they are dedicated to learning from every mission and making necessary adjustments to improve future operations. This adaptability is key to advancing human spaceflight and maintaining the highest standards of safety. 
As we watch SpaceX navigate this new chapter in Dragon Recovery, it's exciting to consider the broader implications for the future of space travel. The West Coast splashdowns will likely set a precedent for how other space agencies and private companies approach spacecraft recovery, potentially influencing the design and operation of future missions. In conclusion, SpaceX's shift to Pacific splashdowns is more than just a logistical change. It's a testament to their ongoing commitment to safety and efficiency. As they refine their recovery processes and adapt to new challenges, we're witnessing the evolution of spaceflight operations in real time. This move not only enhances safety, but also demonstrates SpaceX dedication to advancing the frontier of human space exploration. Stay tuned for more updates as SpaceX continues to innovate and redefine the future of space travel. The journey is far from over. And with each milestone, we're getting closer to a new era of space exploration. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.